Hello, everybody. My name is Leonard. We are still on that. No, not this. That silent grind on Ascension Level 6. Trying to get it up to Ascension Level 7 alongside our Ironclad. Let's uh, let's lose our starting relic and pick up Pandora's box. Okay. Um, we now have almost no defensive options. And need to kill everything we see as far fast as possible <laughs> so nine eight is no we don't have enough at right so we are going to take six Hopefully we can handle that. We do still have a neutralize in our deck. Which is good. We'll take another all in attack. Because AoE is fucking crucial. Do I have any shivs? No. I can't I can't go in on that. We'll pick up the zero cost card. And we'll uh, we'll upgrade here. Uh, let's discard a card. Is eviscerate this turn or this game? This turn. Ugh. I mean, you can make it work if you get the right cards. I just don't have them yet. We'll pick up Terror, because again, Terror will let us deal with someone like this. Alright, well, we did... We did 32 there. Predator, dealt with. Ninja Scroll is very good. Suddenly we have a shit ton of shiv cards. And I am desperately wishing that we had bought accuracy instead of slash. But isn't that just the fucking way the news goes, right, my boys? My dudes, my ladies, my dearly beloved. My longtime acquaintances. My old timey Chang gang. All you people. Isn't that just the way that it is? I feel it is. And we'll all at attack. We've we've got this fight. This will mark our what third elite so far? Third or second? Second. Second. I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll take more zero-cost offensive cards into my opening hand, please. Let's watch this boy get freaking dusted. Now, see, this is where we would like to have Shuriken... Um, Shuriken, Kunai, Ornamental Fan... Basically, anything that's letting us uh, gain a benefit from attacking multiple times because we're playing a guaranteed four attack cards at the start of every game. Like, guaranteed four for zero. We should open with Terror, Neutralize, into Predator, into Backstab, Dead. Brutal. Let's take Heal Hook. Because if we can squeeze a bit more energy into our turns, shit could actually get pretty wacky. yo. Let's expertise up. He's he's just dead. Uh I don't I don't necessarily want that, so we're gonna skip it.
All right. And we still have all of our energy to deal with this boy. This deck is, like, proving to be consistently strong. And we're going to go into this boss fight at full health. I would like to start upgrading cards, but... I think it's perfectly reasonable to go into this fight. Um, wanting as close, if not full health, as possible. Alright, so 30, 37 first turn. 37 first turn is not bad. We're going to do the Predator, even though I know we're going to take Thorns damage because of it. Uh, but it's mostly just because I want to draw more next turn. And there's why. Because now we can set up Terror. And we can set up another Predator for the turn where she pops out of this form. Where we really want to deal damage. Pop the change again. Perfect. Now we don't have much in the way of defense, but I'm working on it. We are working on it. I say we go for the Predator and the Flying Knee here. Now next turn we're going to have two extra cards and an extra energy. We should easily be able to kill this boy. Oh, uh, we're not. Oh, there's that shiv I shuffled in my deck. There we go. Hashtag calculated. Hash. Oh, we we do not want that. Uh, well, we have the blue candle, so let's do this. Decay, doubt, and pain all suck, but a lantern, toolbox, and specimen. The specimen. Mm. I mean, these are useful, but like this is this is a fucking slap in the face. Uh, where we have literally no poison cards. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, they take three damage. I like that. I can get behind that religiously. We've actually just shredded this boy's armor. Sadistic. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this counts as a debuff. It does. We're taking a massive hit, though. Because, of course, we are. Heel hook. This boy's attacks are just like so annoyingly strong. We'll take a piercing wheel plus. We want to get up to that shop. We want to be able to survive to get up to that shop. Let's uh, draw some cards here. We didn't get what I wanted. Which would have been a way to choke on the first turn. If we can get a fire in a bottle. Um, and put choke in our opening hand every turn. We will be able to actually just eviscerate these boys. Like, we'd be able to choke and deal at least 12 damage on the choke, guaranteed, at the start of every fight. That's pretty freaking strong. Alright, we're so gonna die. Have the waffle for sale, you motherfucker. We'll take another backstab, because I am... A fucking broken horse. Wait, what? I'm a dead horse. I'm a broken horse. Stop beating a dead horse. And I said broken horse. 
<sighs> fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. This is not good. We have so much energy. We had four energy left. I have so many zero cost cards in my opening hand. I can't play them. Like I, I, I've, I have leftover fucking energy. Fuck. We really need to find a way to make uh, what's it called? Innate choke. If we can make choke innate, we will have like a, a theoretical win out of this deck. And we are going to keep healing up from these back-to-back -back bonfires. So we can theoretically survive the final boss. We'll take Dash. Who is the champ? Who is... Uh, he's a hard fight. I prefer him over the Collector, though. That's, that's for sure. I would rather fight this boy than the Collector. I mean... I have no reason not to eviscerate... What a fucking opening hand. I'm just gonna play like nine cards. K thanks. Bye. He did sneck on me there. Which is fantastic. I love getting sneckoed. Uh let's try and draw something that costs zero. There we go. I knew it would happen. Let's take Slice. More zero cost cards. Oh, there's a bonfire right after this. We're doing it. And Chiridian. All right. <laughs> Another zero cost card in our opening hand. We actually could have, like, the strongest deck ever. If we could get Choke in our opening hand. And we've yet to do it, like... We've yet to do it once, I think. Like, I actually think it's been... Like, I don't think we've once had Choke in our opening hand. Which is kind of, like, hyper annoying. If you think about it. Dealt with. Accuracy plus is so fucking good. Oh, I can't put that there. I had my cup up above my computer, but the house is on a hill. And the condensation uh, runs down the fucking part of the computer the screen the monitor I have it on and it's just like it'll spill into my keyboard which is dumb oh my god the blade dance on top we're not we're physically not able to even get down to base energy on the opening turn anymore that's how ridiculous our turns are right now Just how nonsense my opening turn is, and I, I I still haven't pulled choke in it yet. And then I draw choke there, where I get to play literally one card with it. I could have played two though. That was that was a misplay. Uh, eh. How about a shree shot, futile weakling? Gee, thanks, daddy. I think I'll do that. And again, we're playing like six attacks a turn. Which is kind of insane when you consider it. Like, it's just actually insane.
All right, here comes the buff. Defeat impossible. Oh my god, what 72 fucking damage? Are you fucking serious? This fucking game, why is he hitting so hard? Why did he strength buff three times? I'm so fucking livid. Bye, everybody.